Hello, people. The Freds at 32 here again. And it's time for one of my least favorite games in the Famicom library Transformers Convoy No Nazo. In other words, Mystery of Convoy or Mystery of Optimus Prime. <coughs> this game is extremely difficult, but shouldn't be too difficult for us because we have safe states. Demo. What the hell? What's going on? So anyway, here's what happens when you press start. That happens. Now there's actually a Super Mario Brothers ROM hack of this, and it's called Mystery of Luigi. It plays very similarly to this, but the only problem with this one is one hit deaths. There is a way you could like speed run it. I have been able to speed run it, but you only get three lives, and there is a continue code. But <coughs> but since I have save states, what do I care? <coughs> now, for those of you who want to know, I will be revisiting this game if I get a Famicom imported. This will be on my list of games to to revisit. Okay, so this time we'll actually be using save states. Because <coughs> this game is next to impossible without save states. First, let me go over the base controls. You jump by pushing A. You attack with this bullet that has short range by pushing B. And... Go into you go into fire truck form by pushing by pushing down in B. At least I think it is. And now an important thing to note is that while you're transitioned between forms, you're you're invincible. And when you're in fire truck form, you can shoot up. Now I should mention, by the way, that. You play as Ultra Magnus, not Optimus Prime, which is quite a shame. You saw the Angry Video Game Nerd review this game not too long ago. I'm gonna try my best to speedrun this thing, and yeah, I'm more used to FCEUX because of having F1 for load when for here it's F7. There is a way to speed run, so I know there is. I have done it. And I really hate that how all these robots are so much smaller than Ultra Magnus, yet they all die in more hits than he does. He dies in one hit, but many of these enemies take much longer to kill. I meant to save that time. And also, the music is extremely repetitive, so not too fun for a guy like me, because I have headphones on. Oh wait, never mind, you're not invincible during those periods. Wow. And there's no way to scroll an enemy on or off the screen, based they go at their own patterns. It does look like Optimus Prime, doesn't it? But no, it's actually Ultra Magnus. And if you beat the game and collect all the letters that spell Robus Prime, you can play as him. That did not hit me. Oh, they have they have a vanishing period. I never knew such thing. Wait, those things freeze? Yeah, but the 
going into fire truck form is basically the, f the way of saying of committing suicide because you can only shoot up and you can't shoot horizontally at all. This game was made in 1986 by Takara. It has 10 hard stages, and let me tell you, the final boss of this game is not Megatron. Now, at the end of every stage, you need to fight a boss. And this one, this music is even more repetitive because of... I think every boss takes five hits to kill. Or four? Okay, I... I guess I... I worried a little too much about it. So on to stage two, and goddamn is it hell. Look at all the stuff here that's trying to kill me. And there's so many places here where you can get trapped. And... Every stage is pretty much the same. The stages are hard, but the boss fights are just, are just very dull and very hard. That all changes when stage 9 comes, where you have to go through a puzzle. Whenever I have the time, I'll walk through this game, but this, since this is a review, I don't want to waste any time doing it. The control is your average control. You move by pushing left and right. You can control yourself in midair, but it's just as stiff as it was in Super Mario Brothers, and it's just as fast as it was in Super Mario Brothers. At least I think, anyway. See, that thing took three hits to kill, and it's much smaller, but you die in one hit. I think that's the only real worrisome part. But the rest... Give me a break. Come on, come on. I never thought I'd see insects in a Transformers game. Oh, so now the rocket comes. Wait, those... Those tanks can jump? Now, any of those who are curious, I have been in this game at least once. Of course, because I've saved it. Wow. It's funny how those things are tanks, yet they never shoot at you. But those... Those missiles really seem to home in on you everywhere you go. There is no time limit, so... No need to worry about... Getting in on time or too late. Alright, uh... There are some points where you'll have to turn small, or turn the fire truck form so you can go through narrow spots. So just dodge everything. Now what was that red thing? What is that thing? I wanna know. That red disc? They did make a f they made they did make a disc system for it, but I guess just like Castlevania, it's nothing it's nothing much. It's the same game that everybody else got, but the only difference is that it's on the disc system. So now on to the the double boss. It's the same as before. Every every one of these things takes four hits to kill, but. One thing I highly recommend you do is jump and shoot. It makes it so much easier to hit your targets that you want to destroy. But the one hit the one hit rule could catch you off guard sometimes. And you gotta hit the flashing spot just for those who really want who are really having trouble with this. You know 
with a... I shot like a whole wave of shots that time, and none of it. So, the first one is down. They look like... They look like pecan shells. Ah, oh, come on! One hit to go! One, two, three, four. And every time you be a boss, it flashes and it seems like you're gonna have a seizure. So... That's basically all I have to say about this. This stage... You're... It's an upscrolling level, but... You're not limited to how low you can go after you've already scrolled up. <laughs> but... I will mention all these stages when I walk through them. And... Um... Overall, this game is just... Very horrible. I do not recommend that you get this game, but... <clears throat> but, for those of you who really want a challenge, go ahead. I don't care. It's extremely difficult, though, just to let you know. So, I hope you enjoyed this review slash gameplay video. I will be posting a walkthrough just for those who want to know. Just because this game is extremely short, only 10 levels long. And for those of you who want to know, at level 9, you fight Megatron, and level 10, you fight Trypticon. I'm not sure why it wouldn't be Megatron, but oh well. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this, this review slash gameplay video, and I'll see you next time, probably most likely tomorrow. This is the Fredster32, signing out.